speak clearly. I got 297 seconds. Okay, my name is Dr. Edna Marie Simpson Ray. I was born in Nashville, Tennessee. At the time of the Freedom Rides, I was a student at a and State University, which is called Tennessee State University at the present time. I became a part of the Freedom Rides after going through several training sessions and after they had the bombing of the bus in Alabama. I decided at that point, along with other things that were in my mind that had happened to me as a young girl, that I wanted to be a part of the group who at that time were challenging the law of segregation, which was, which was um, not true because the ICC ruling had been passed. So we were testing the ICC ruling, which is called the Interstate Commerce Commission. That is why we were riding down south. And as we rode south, we found out that many of the southern states were not recognizing the ICC ruling when it came to, came to blacks. On May 20th, I was in um, Birmingham, Alabama, there was a ride there, and I am thankful to God that I did not get hurt. I spent the night in the bus terminal in Montgomery after things settled down there and the law decided that they were going to show, to, um, to come to our aid. We spent the night there in the bus terminal in Birmingham, Alabama. The next day, um, the president and his brother, Robert Kennedy, had made arrangements with someone to drive us to Montgomery, Alabama. Reason being, left in the bus station is because there were no drivers who were with drivers to Montgomery because they were feared for their lives as well as the lives of their family. On the way to Montgomery, we had um, the helicopters, the highway patrol, police, all of those people following the bus to make sure that no one would bother us on that trip to Montgomery. Well, when we were outside of Montgomery, about 15, maybe 10 or 15 minutes from Montgomery, all of the protection that we had that were following us from Birmingham disappeared. It was an eerie quiet scene at that time. But when we reached the bus terminal at Montgomery, then all of what I call the haters showed up and began wreaking havoc on the unarmed Freedom Riders. While I was in Montgomery, we, we were successful in, some, in getting away from the bus station, even though there were those that had been injured, and some injured gravely. I ended up at uh, Shuttlesworth, not Shuttlesworth, but uh, I can't even call it. Abernathy. Abernathy's home. And while I was at Abernathy's home, I did meet Dr. Martin Luther King. That evening, we went to the church, and Havoc was raised at the church, and we ended up at Brother Har uh, uh, Dr. Harris's home where I spent the night. And the next day, that was when we received the word that 14 of us from Tennessee State were gonna be expelled from school. So instead of going on to Mississippi at that time, I went back home, taking exams, and then on um, May the 28th, I got back on the bus and I rode from Nashville to Jackson to Mississippi. That is a short version of what happened with Etta Simpson Wright. Thank you.